So this is Kevin. He's an axle building master. He's not. Builds his own tools like this to help pull things apart. What we have here is the rear end from that T100, the 96. Pretty clever, pretty ingenious little device. If you look around the shop, you'll see a lot of the same kind of thing. They've got all of these scraps and all of this uh, whatnot to work with. But you always see little tools like this, and you can't buy that from the Mac guy or the Mac Co guy. But uh, they've got just everything it takes just to make it easy. See, like I've got a race on a tube, you know, with just a piece of steel. You can see it's been over from use. This man is a genius. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Is this the only wheel bearing that was bad, huh? Both sides. Both sides? Yeah. So you got both of them here? Yeah, and you better take my money this time. <laughs> Watch yourself. All right. See the way that sits in there? Press it out. <laughs> I jumped. Got a rubber mat to catch it down below. Like a pro. Somebody's got it. <laughs> do you have any idea how much trouble that would have caused me trying to do that? Oh, yeah, you'd have a hard time. That would have been hours and probably, you know, bust well, yeah, a knuckle you, you or. You wouldn't get it apart, yeah. I'm pretty stubborn. <laughs> we, had a kid, we had a kid who made one that he, uh, he tried to use mechanical advantage with, with a screw, you know, with a big... Oh, really? Yeah. A screw press. Yeah. Did it blow up in his face? Well, he just, he always just brought him down here because it was way too much effort. You know? Right. Look how beautiful this is. This is what good quality work looks like. Yeah, he's been in the water, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, the the, the spring mounts, the perches on one side were cracked all the way around. Is, right? is it a T100? Yeah. Yeah, T100 is known for breaking those right out. Yeah, it sure did. We're going to have to yeah, be welding easy, that back together. Break right on the weld. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Welded a little bit too hot. Yeah, they, and they're, they're not real thick, you know, houses. Right. The steel that they use typically isn't great either. No. That's a Terraflex. Somebody's gonna ask. Yeah, okay, it's got some uh, 1200 pounds for the house. Nice. <laughs> what do you got there? You're giving something a big hug. It's mine. We, we brought some uh, accessories. Sweet. We should have a RW130R and a 1960 and a 1956 seal also. Yep. We brought the housing seals too. Yeah, you, you set those it. aside, the skinny ones. Yeah. 1956, let's see. 130, 130, what did you get? This is just a spare. Oh, this is spare? Yeah. Got a better deal. <laughs> yeah. Got a better deal. This is a Yeah, one was 125, the other was significantly you less. 125? For one? Yeah, we're taking it back. They're the only ones that had one in stock. Well, we, we stocked these. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. What you pay for these? That one I paid 65, yeah. marked down from 85, and that one I paid about 20. Yeah, we, we're about we're about the same price. So that one comes with the sleeve. The other one doesn't, yeah. and that's why we brought yeah, the they, one with they, us. They should have. They should have came with, with you know. Least, yeah. One. Yeah, the expensive one did, the cheaper one didn't. I was going to see if... Got one. Oh, do you? Yeah. Cool. I think it just fell out. I think it used to be in there. Probably. So we got the backing plate and the bearing and everything together. Give me just a minute. I'll put that in the yeah. tank. And it's shaking right now. It knows that Kevin's near yeah. and its its days are done. It's numbered, huh? Yeah. You can see the seals on the inside there. Work, work. That bearing didn't stand a chance. So that little ring that comes with it, that little guy, that's what holds it in. And yeah, when we that, pressed it, that's, that's what gave what, up. That's what holds it in, and it's also what the seal rides on. 
Gotcha. Your seal, your seal rides on That's that. a sealing surface. Yeah. Do you typically have to put some silicone or something on that, if or just the press is enough? If you, if you notice on your house and you got an O-ring, right. All you need to do is if it's you know if you don't want to get a new one, you put some silicone with that O-ring. Gotcha. But that O-ring's the dealer, right? Okay. And if there's not one there, just put some silicone around the housing. Especially where this guy's in water all the time. Yeah, actually, I own the truck now. This is going to be mine. Oh, you bought that? Yeah, I bought it. They didn't want to pay to fix it. Did they give you any kind of a discount? Or? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have bought it if they didn't. I paid $2,700. It's got 140000 on it. The rest of the truck is great. The engine and transmission are good. It's the just... Polo truck? Yeah. Extra cab. That one that was here, right? What's that? That same one that was here, right? Yeah, yeah. That hot tank. Dude, you guys are spoiled. You got all the nice stuff. Is it okay if I film you, Kent? No, don't no. film me. <laughs> uh, women are already chasing you, beating your door down. I understand it's stressful. See that right? Uh, Kent's the transmission and the uh, transfer case guy. There, like you say, it's hate life. Yeah. I'm good. I can see why it's noisy. So basically, this is all one shaft right here. That back here comes on. Is it just that gear? Oh, yeah, that shaft goes there to there. Uh -huh. Like you say, that other gear, it's like. Uh, see how this cluster? Oh, yeah. Years got two more gears to play. No, that's what I call a press. Yeah. You're not impressed with mine anymore? <laughs> yeah, that set up proper. What do you think you guys spent on this press? Uh, I'm not sure what they... It was here when we got here. This I know that we're getting one that's built hooked to quality. a U-bolt. We're getting one that's hooked to a... This is OTC. Oh, yeah? We're getting one that's hooked to a U-bolt bender. Nice. That's a 100 ton press. Wow. Yeah, it's got two brands instead of one. Notice how it's got the yeah, cable crank for too, the base. Right? What's that? You already had the snap ring off of this one too, Yes, right? I do. For sure. See? Good technician double check. <laughs> well, I didn't want to bend my tool. Yeah. Grab that. Like a boss. When you polish your sealing surfaces with an emery cloth and you don't get any burrs or anything in your uh, seals last a lot longer. Anytime you have a bearing failure, there's potential to get burrs and high spots. They press them together, they tend to want, the seal wants to fly off of there. Right. So after you get that bearing pressed on there, it's a pain in the ass to, to get the seal back. Right. Pressed. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit of JB Weld uh, keeps it there. Silicone. Right. But JB Weld uh, sticks a lot better than... Silicone. It's got more tack to it. it, it, right into it yeah. Sometimes silicone can be kind of slippery and lube it off. Yeah, at this point, you know, this stuff, I let it sit for about five minutes and then press it together. Really appreciate you doing this. No problem, you better let me pay you. Oh, you're alright. <laughs> no, 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 no. Man's got to be compensated for the work that he does. Alright. Yeah. Back at the press, we've got the seals epoxied in. We got JB Weld just to hold them in place so they don't slide off. And now we're pressing things back together. We got to press those uh, collars back against the bearing to hold it in place. So again, you've got a custom tool on the bottom side. Oh, that looks easy. <laughs> you make that look so easy. I just gotta put. So that's the bearing and then you've got the sleeve to be pressed on that the seal is going to ride on. That's the seal that's the inner seal that goes in the axle tube. They'll be riding on that. The taper goes to the outside. The taper goes up. So when you put your seal on it, it slides on easy? Yeah, yeah. It gives it a ramp to ramp up on. 
So did you guys build your plates for that or did those yeah. come with it? You did. It looked like it looked like they were a little smarter built than manufactured. There it is. And then that little circlip will go on after that. Kind of a safety retainer. Beautiful. Well, that barely fits in here. About hits the door opener. Lock fits in there perfect. for yourself after being all awesome like that? I don't know, nothing. <laughs> I, I want my lawyer. Alright, we're right there. Let's do this. So somebody had a question about limited slip and locking differentials and what the difference was. This is a standard type and you see the spider gears on the inside. On a limited slip you'll have a mechanical device and clutches that you see here and that's what enables it to be limited slip. When it gets a certain amount of pressure, those springs and clutches work to lock it up so that the wheels both go together so that you don't wind up peeling out. So we've got our new wheel bearings and they're pressed in. We have the new carrier assembly and it's ready to rock. It doesn't have play like the old one did. So the next thing to do on rebuilding a Toyota axle is uh, get a grinder and just cut a bunch of holes in it. Just kidding. No, we're getting it prepped because there's cracks. There's a crack right here all the way across the front, which is common, especially if you have a bad ring and pinion because it'll bang and jerk on it. And this one, it just got ripped to, oh man. It's got cracks coming clear out to the side. We got them here. It should really be thrown away, but we're gonna salvage it. It's gonna take a lot of wire and a lot of gas, uh, but it'll be stronger than it was before. This, it would be nice to be able to bend that back out, but I at least need to weld across the front of this before I can get the leverage. I don't know, I may just have to fill that, um, which is doable. You can fill up to a quarter inch is easy, half inch is possible. Um, and it's ripped all the way back here. Look at these cracks here. So we're about to get that taken care of. Did a bunch of cleaning on the inside of the axle. I know it doesn't look like it, but it was horrible. We got it outside so we can do a little fire if we need to. Heaven forbid. So we've welded the crap out of this. We've done a little bit of practice welding and uh, got that to where it's structurally sound. And now we're starting to work on this side. When we keep these sides up, we clean them out with brake cleaner because it gets out of the way quickly. It's a little bit risky. You see the crack there. So we'll be doing a little happy face on this. Like I said about Toyotas in the past, they do not use the best steel. So we'll make do. <laughs> so you see on this one, we've got it all completed all the way around. That's how it likes to crack with all of these little lines going to the outside. This one didn't even show a whole lot of leaking, just a little. Had a great big crack across the base there. You can see where Spanky filled that in. And uh, we got a couple of little renegade cracks, so we're just going to go ahead and fill those while we've got the axle out and uh, not full of flammable liquids. So we've got the axle bolted up. We got the U bolts and everything in. Uh, these four studs are what you have to bolt this in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little silicone. You can either silicone up this part or you can do here. Factory wise, they just use an O ring, but our O rings are crushed. So I'm going to need uh, silicone all the way around here. And then also I've greased the inside of the seal and I've also greased that little press on sleeve 
so that it's uh, good to go. Notice that the taper side is facing up and we've got our little C-clip back on there. So I'll go ahead and silicone that up and put it in. So to replace that O-ring rather than to order one from Toyota and put this together four days from now, we're just going to make a seal. This will actually seal a lot better. It's a little hard to get them off. But man, do they not leak when you do this.